Red shirts in the laundry. This is actually bad pop, bringing you some bad news. If you're single, all you really need to do to avoid this is just not get married. But hey, this one is for a guy who is married. And all I have to say is, you're fed in the video. Hey, I'm just kidding. I really want to help you married guys because you know I'm a, I'm a deep feeling person. No, I'm not. You're fucked. And I'm going to be going over a tactic that a lot of these pin puller martyr bride wamalos pull so they can stay at home and be a leech for the rest of their goddamn lives. I'm busting out your tricks. So ladies, bust out your pen and paper. <laughs> and I hope you write me some real good hate mail. <laughs> Winning. Yeah. I've seen this take place, not to this extent, but it can go this bad. You shack up with a girl and she wants to have a big family and she starts popping out kids every three years. Guess what she's doing to you? Gonorrhea! No. <laughs> I don't really have any future plans. I just want to be a mother and have a big family. What she's really telling you is, I want you to be my slave. If you were smart, <laughs> you wouldn't be thinking about all the unprotected sex you'd be having. You'd be trying to hook yourself up with a poke, two snips, and some smoke. And thus begins the barrel of monkeys. You know, they hook one right into the other until it gets so long they all fall apart. That's what's going to happen to you. <laughs> all right, a lot of women like to get married by 24 to 26. They go to college to find a dude, which is really becoming hard now because more chicks are in college. But that's beside the point. Then they start having kids. Right after the honeymoon is over, kid one. <laughs> And guess what? You start seeing a pattern here. 27, 29, 31, ah! 33, 35, 37. My girlfriend sucked 37 dicks. In a row? Kid seven at 39. They're spacing them out so they can always have a kid at home. So they have an excuse not to go back to work. Because in today's world, with all the washers and the dryers and the big screen TV and the robots that vacuum the floor, she doesn't really have to do shit, okay? But just sit there and put the kids in front of the square babysitter and eat bonbons and pull the pin on the fat grenade. Catch you, cunts. I know what you're thinking. You're like, Pop, why would a woman spend all that money to go to college and get all those student loans just to be a stay-at-home mom? They're going through the course catalog and the cock catalog at the same time, and they're looking for the biggest payday they can land. After college, it's a long downward spiral for you because the older you get, the less tier one dudes are there. And they're looking for younger chicks who probably still are in college. I'm 33, I'm ready to settle down and have children. <laughs> Wham, you missed the boat. I can hear your ovaries crackling from here <laughs> like Rice Krispies and milk. Oh, I don't know. So she's 45. That last kid is gonna be entering school roughly about now. She's been married since she's 24. She's been out of the workforce between 24 and 45. What's going to happen to you? Bing! You're a slave. Your name is Toby. <laughs> so you're married to this woman, and she has one, three, five, seven kids. She pulls the pin in the fat grenade. She's fat as hell. You can't divorce her. After 45, paying that bitch alimony for the rest of her life becomes quite possible. She's gonna get half your pension and half your social security. And retirement won't even be a possibility. That's serious, that's some dreadful shit right there. Your old lady's having kids 38, 39 years of age. You're on the hook for child support until you're a minimum of 60. By 60, your prime earning years are done and you've been supporting all of these kids plus this gunt of a whore. So you're locked in living as a pauper until you finally one day mercifully kick your air addiction. When you take all of this into account, the number one killer of men isn't really age. <laughs> it's women. You'll stew in your own shit until you mercifully die in your own entrails. All those women out there like, I was a stay-at-home mother. It's so hard. Guess what? It's not that hard. You have all the conveniences of modern life. This isn't the 1800s, so shut the f*** up. Edit that out. If you're all back behind the cabin, you know, scrubbing your clothes on a washboard, hey, I might be able to have some sympathy for you. But wait a minute. No, I don't. Wah. I want to sandwich two beers in the BJ because I earned it. Do it now. Oh. Well, I'm going to get a good job, make some money, then I'll get married. Wah. Don't you dare do it because the 401k, the pensions, everything is going away in this economy. Take care of number one. 
you. And if you shack up with a woman who only looks at you as how much money you can make, you're basically throwing yourself into the wood chip machine. The human species is really the only one that actually pays to exist here on this planet. So why pay more than you need to? Oh, I don't know. Now listen, you want to stay out of the barrel of monkeys? Don't climb in. Don't get married. All right. It's all rigged against you. Don't do it. I shouldn't have to work. I want to stay home and raise the kids. <laughs> Wah, go to work. If you start seeing this pattern emerging, you force her ass to go to work. And she could say it's abuse or whatever the hell she wants on her wheel of misfortune. Check out that episode. Tell her to f the hell off and get a goddamn job. Get deactivated. A poke, two snips, and some smoke after you have your second or third kid, and it's done. If you want to have kids, have them here. Don't have them here. Because this is where you lose half your life. If you really want to have some fun, <laughs> sneak out and get deactivated and don't tell her about it. So when she gets knocked up again, <laughs> fun and games will ensue. Winning! No! <laughs> Do not, under any circumstances, hand over the finances to her to manage the household. Keep your power, maintain your money, because it will not be used wisely and, in the end, it'll be used against you. Because there are two sets of three words apiece that will absolutely destroy your life. Joint checking account, I'm not happy. And there you go, you're in baby jail and slaveryhood. Oh. All of this started with four simple words. I'm on the pill. <laughs> which results in the number one classic mistake men make, which is raw dog in the road or there you go. Crabs. <laughs> Gentlemen, if you find yourself in this predicament, you did it to yourself. I'm trying to warn the guys out there to keep this from happening. And if you're still on the young side, get deactivated. And when that's done, you're going to save yourself a whole ass load of money. So check out our Patreon and PayPal pages and throw us a couple bucks. So we can keep doing this because one, they're fun. Two, they're effective. Three, they're entertaining. And four, they piss the feminists off. Now listen, while you're at it, hit the subscribe button. Because if you do, I'll help you stuff your old lady in the trunk and drive her to a job where she'll have no excuse but to work. <laughs> Woo! I'm going out. If you shack up with a lady, <laughs> I said lady. She gets to hit. Blah. You're 45 years old. What are your chances of getting into the workforce and making a decent living? Oh, Very slim. She's purposely stringing you along so you'll be the slave. That's why guys are like, I want to be dead by 68. I'm so done with this. Is that mean? Yes, it is. It's true. It's totally true. The pizza and two liter of Coke diet. That's the checkout. That's the 65 and out plan right there. <laughs> Since 90% of my material. Oh, you got five kids? Chances are one or two aren't yours. Raw dog in the room. What was I thinking?